Hello everybody and welcome to the sixth matplotlib video in our little matplotlib mini series for Python 3. Where we left off, we were showing bar charts, scatter plots, and all of that, and we've covered uh, quite a few other things with matplotlib. Uh, now what I want to cover is reading data from a file into um, matplotlib basically to plot it. Uh, because that's really what we want to do at the end of the day usually is, is plot from a file of some sort. So a lot of people download CSVs or they have it in a, in a text file which can be in theory a CSV um, and so on. So what we're going to do is we're going to plot from a CSV file. I actually have an example file here that we'll be using. One is just example file.txt, one is example file.csv. Um, I'll put both of these up online. You can just go to the sample code and get them but they're very basic files. There's not much to them. I've just basically stored them like this. So on the left hand side here you've got x values, on the right hand side you've got y values. So if you want, go ahead and pause the video and make one of these for yourself. Um, you don't have to make the exact same one as I have. Just make sure they're comma separated, new lines, uh, different uh, x and y's, and then make sure you don't have an extra little new line here. Um, but even then it probably won't matter. But anyway, closing out of this, minimizing this, uh, this was our original code from before. We don't want this anymore. We're going to go ahead. We can leave epic chart in our labels because we're still making an epic chart, that's for sure. But just delete the rest. So we'll keep styles here. We'll keep the labels and stuff, and we'll keep the show. But the rest is uh, gone. So how do we load in a CSV file? So obviously, there's a lot of ways that we can load a CSV file. We can use um, open and open the CSV, split by new line, then split by comma. We could use uh, the CSV module with import CSV and use some CSV stuff that I've shown you guys how to use. Um, but in my opinion, the best thing to do is to, is to learn how to open it with NumPy. So if you uh, installed the required modules like I suggested, you have NumPy. So import NumPy as NP. If you don't have NumPy, go get NumPy. Um, anyway, so get NumPy. Style that use, we'll keep that, blah, blah, blah. So now we're ready to use NumPy to load and use this NumPy function called load text. It's called load text, but you can load CSV files and stuff like that. It's not like you have to load a .txt file, okay? So we're also gonna use uh, some unpacking here. So we're gonna say x comma y equals, and if you remember, I was showing you guys unpacking before when we covered tuples. And what it's going to do is unpack values that are that we're going to specify how they're separated here in a minute, and it's going to unpack the values to into x and y for us. So x y equals np dot load text np for numpy load text is a function within numpy, and then here we specify the parameters of this load text function. First parameter is going to be <clears throat> the file name. Well, I have mine called example file dot txt. Then comma we want to unpack because I just said we're trying to unpack these values in the x and y. Otherwise, it will unpack the entire data set into one value and it will actually unpack as a, a list of lists, so to speak. So uh, we've got example.txt and then unpack needs to equal true. And then finally, you specify uh, the, the limiter of the file. And in our case, it's a comma. In many people's cases, it might be a colon, a double colon. Uh, it might be a tab, a space, oops, <laughs> a sp I can't type, space character, and so on. But in our case, it's a comma. So uh, at this point, we've unpacked the values of x and y from our file. And in fact, um, you don't have to follow me here. I'm just going to show you guys real quick. Uh, print x, print y, learn to type. And you can see here that we've unpacked the values, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, all the way to 16, and then the values of y. Now, you might be asking, well, say, Harrison, that looks a little funky. That doesn't look like a typical list. Well, that's because it's not. When you unpack like this, you've basically unpacked this into a NumPy array. Harrison, you said there weren't arrays in Python. Well, there are if you use NumPy. If you use Python, actually everything is a list, or a tuple, I suppose. But uh, what you would think is it, you would call an array is actually just a Python list. But when you use NumPy, you can use arrays. And this gets very confusing later on because the things you thought you could do with a Python list, you try to do with a, Py or a NumPy array, you can't do it. You've got to convert them out and then convert them back in. Um, and converting out and back in is something that we'll actually be covering quite a bit of uh, soon. So we're going to make sure we cover sockets here in a little bit, and that's going to confuse a lot of people. But anyway, 
you have to understand that this is a different data type than um, than a typical Python list. Anyway, moving on, uh, we've unpacked it into X and Ys, and luckily for us, uh, Matplotlib will ha handle a NumPy array, no problem. And then later on, we can do some NumPy functions on our NumPy array. So it's really good just to learn how to use NumPy uh, because later on, you're probably going to be wanting it. So you might as well use NumPy for all that you can. Another great module uh, to use to load in files is Pandas. Um, I'm not sure. I don't think Pandas actually works on Python 3 yet. Last time I tried, I couldn't get it to work. I have an entire series on Pandas. I just don't think I want to release it just simply because it's in Python 2.7. But I think I probably will. Uh, release it, but that's beside the point. We're not talking about that right now. Moving on. So we're on comment uh, this stuff here, and now we're ready to use X and Y. So we can just show plt dot plot X Y. Save and run it, and we can see that we've plotted uh, from our file. Now, just to show, I did have a copy of both example file dot text, and I haven't had it as a CSV. So I just want to show you guys that it works as it's through a CSV file as well. It just loads pretty much anything you pass through there. Um, so we'll close out of that, close out of that. And that's really it um, that I wanted to show you guys as far as basics of Matplotlib. I know I've said it a million times, I'll say it again. If you want to learn a lot more about Matplotlib, I've got a very large Matplotlib series that's just dedicated to all the stuff that you can do with Matplotlib because you can do a whole lot of stuff. Um, so there we've got live charting, multiple figures on the same plot. There's two ways to do stuff like that. Um, multiple figures on the same, I just keep saying that. Multiple subplots on the same figure. Um, uh, organization like that, uh, 3D charts, plotting on like maps, all that stuff. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can do with Matplotlib. So if you're interested in learning more about that, check out that series. Um, anyway, that's going to conclude this series. Uh, next topic we're going to be talking about is either, I can't remember if it's subprocess or threading, or no, we've already done threading. Subprocess or socket, probably. I think it's subprocess. Anyway, stay tuned for that. If you guys have any questions or comments on this video, feel free to leave them below. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions. And until next time.